I'm definitely probably more well known as a finesse fisherman than anything else and a lot of that was winning the FLW championship on a spinning rod and I've had a lot of success finesse fishing. And, uh, finesse fishing is all about detail. You need to, you're fishing light line, you need to have the right equipment for it. You don't have very much margin for error there and that's really where I came to fall in love with the last tech, especially uh, the finesse worm. It's a worm that's very durable and it also floats. Two big things that are huge for a shaky head. The durability is a big issue because I spent a lot of time kind of power finesse fishing, a lot of skipping, throwing and lay downs, a lot of heavy cover stuff. And in those kind of situations, if you have a worm slide down, come off your hook, essentially you're hung up and you've ruined that opportunity. You have to go in and get your bait or you break it off and that opportunity is missed. And you can't afford to miss many opportunities fishing against the caliber of fishermen we're fishing against. The elastic worm will stay on your hook through millions of skips and also fishing it on the bottom. It'll stand upright which is uh, rare for any finesse worm to do, to stand up and actually create that bait or cause that bait to actually stand up and become more visible to the fish like it's something feeding on the bottom. Most worms want to lay flat on the bottom. People envision a shaky head as standing up all the time and that's not true. If you look at it in a tank, it's essentially just dragging along the bottom on a head. Whereas the elastic worm stands up the whole time, it actually looks like something feeding along the bottom. Z-Man, the science and art of fishing.